So what I did today was I thought I'd come back and make um, a dish inspired by my time in Greece. Hey there, it's Kenna, just a mom next door. Welcome village peeps. As you know, we have just returned from Greece where I have brought back with me a few more things other than a couple of souvenirs. Some things that when I got on the scale, they responded with, hey old friend, if you know what I mean. <laughs> So what that made me do this morning was to think about some dishes that I can start to prepare for myself as I re-engage my healthy practices of exercise on a daily basis and just thinking about what I'm going to be eating. So for me, that includes intermittent fasting where I don't eat until sometime between 11 and 12, and I try to stop eating by about seven. Now, I'm not a hard and fast rule follower when it comes to intermittent fasting or anything else along those lines in that matter, but I do try to make good decisions and choices and plan as best I can for those as often as I can. So what I did today was I thought I'd come back and make um, a dish inspired by my time in Greece where we had lots of um, tomato cucumber salad or Greek salad. The Greek salad means that it's got the Greek seasoning blend and some uh, feta cheese added to it. Mine is without the Greek, the feta cheese, um, and I don't have the Greek salad blend, but what I do have um, is something else that I wanna try that is a little more reminiscent of the Southern tomato and cucumber salad. So what I have in here are is one large cucumber, um, I'd cut up some avocado. I squeezed some lemon and some lime. I don't have the lemon here. I also added some red onion. I had a whole onion, but then when I saw this, I opted for that instead. And um, what we found in Greece was they use whole tomatoes that are diced. I prefer the grape tomatoes. Um, I just like the, the flavor of them and the texture and consistency. I also added some green onion and um, some corn, a handful of corn in there. Um, and I threw in some garbanzo beans for protein. Now, I'm gonna grab my tomatoes because instead of adding them in here like this, I roasted them for a little, or I sauteed them until they got a little um, brown around the edges just to bring out that sweet flavor. So I'm gonna grab those off the stove right now. Okay, here are my tomatoes. I'm just gonna toss those in here. Well, actually, I'm not gonna toss those yet. I'm gonna wait until I um, mix this so that once I add in the tomatoes, they're not getting mushy as I mix. Okay, I have just added my tomatoes in here and folded them in, just being gentle so that I didn't bust them open. Um, all of them as, as, as much as I could. I didn't wanna bust them open. Um, and the way that I dressed this salad was with two tablespoons of just regular old white vinegar, um, two tablespoons of olive oil, so equal parts. And I didn't realize that this is actually garlic infused olive oil, but I like garlic, so that should be just fine. And then this is my favorite new ingredient that I've been putting in everything. It is um, Tabitha Brown's Sunshine Seasoning that she partnered with McCormick to make, and clearly this is not a sponsored video, but um, it tastes so good and it smells so good. It's got a blend of garlic, ginger, pineapple, and mango. And when my son, Kevin, and I tasted it for the first time, <laughs> Kevin's reaction was, yeah, it tastes like sunshine, <laughs> which it does, I agree. So. This is it. Um, I think I've told, oh, the other piece that I didn't add in here because I wanted to save it for if I decide to use it or, or not, um, is I got a couple of packets of the salmon or even tuna um, so that if I want to add, so I put those garbanzo beans in here or chickpeas, but if I want to add additional protein, I can go for one of those. I'm not mixing it in because I don't want that to be the flavor of the whole dish. I'm just going to add it in when I want to eat it with it. Um, but that's it. Let me taste it. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's been sitting in the refrigerator for 
just a couple of, uh, maybe about an hour or so. So I want to get some of the tomato and some of the cucumber. got a good flavor. Really good flavor. I may add a little bit more of my vinegar. This is a salt-free seasoning, so it's not going to have salt in it. If you'd like to add salt on your own, of course, you're free to do that. But I think this is this dish and I are going to get along just fine. Enjoy!